Welcome to the 3M product training video for the 3M VersaFlow M Series head tops. This video will explain how to adjust and don your head tops as well as how to maintain them. Your head top should be adjusted to give the best seal and field of vision. The head suspension can be adjusted simply by rotating the ratchet knob to loosen or tighten the headband. The height of the suspension headband can be adjusted independently in four locations to give a customised fit. The M100 series can also be adjusted by tightening or loosening the fabric straps to lower or raise the head top. Select the appropriate breathing tube for your application and connect the top end of the breathing tube to the head top via the simple quick release and swivel connection. The quick release and swivel connection minimises loops and kinks in the breathing tube. For the M100 series, fit the head top with the visor in the raised position. Make sure that it is held firmly and comfortably. If necessary, adjust the fit as described before. Switch on the air supply and lower the visor into the down position by pulling on the loop until the face seal is under the chin. Ensure that it is correctly positioned all around the face and ears. For the M300 series, fit the head top with the visor in the raised position. Make sure that it is held firmly and comfortably. If necessary, adjust the fit as described before. Switch on the air supply and lower the visor into the down position by pulling on the loop until the face seal is under the chin. Ensure that it is correctly positioned all around the face and ears. For the M400 series, gather up the shroud and inner face seal and fit the head top with the visor in the raised position. Tighten the adjustable cord that seals the inner shroud until there is less than a two finger gap between the inner shroud and your skin. Adjust the outer shroud to ensure that it fully covers the shoulders. Switch on the air supply and lower the visor into the down position until it locks into the jaw guard with a click. To open the visor on the M400, grip the tab on the jaw guard and pull up on the visor with the other hand. Do not grip the shroud, as this may damage the product or affect the seal of the head top. If needed, lift the visor and adjust the direction of airflow to your preference. This can be done simply by pushing up and down on the deflector. To remove the face seal from the M100 series and M300 series, simply unhook the elastic loops from the headband and remove the plastic face seal tabs from the attachment points. Pull the face seal gasket slowly out of the groove in the visor frame. To install the replacement, align the gasket at one end of the groove and press in firmly and fully around the whole visor frame. Reattach the plastic tabs and the elastic loops. Other parts that can be removed and replaced using the same simple attachment method include the brow seal and the jaw seal. To remove the shroud assembly from the M400 series, unhook the plastic tab at the rear of the head top and remove from the breathing tube inlet. Also remove the ratchet knob from the shroud. Remove the shroud by pulling the gasket slowly out of the groove in the visor frame. The inner shroud can be replaced by fully removing from the shroud assembly using the built-in zip. To install the replacement shroud assembly, align the gasket at one end of the groove and press in firmly and fully around the whole jaw guard. Replace the plastic tab over the breathing tube inlet at the rear and push into place and reinsert the ratchet knob. To remove the visor, push out the visor frame buttons and remove the visor from the frame. To fit the replacement visor, align it with the bottom of the visor frame and insert it into the groove. Click the visor into place around the visor frame buttons and secure by pressing the visor buttons in fully. The visor frame can also be removed by removing the retention clips on either side of the head top. To replace the visor frame, align each side with the cams in the head top and reinsert the clip to hold in place. The pivots mounted in the visor frame can also be removed simply by pushing outwards from the inside and can be replaced by simply pushing back in until secured in place. To replace the cams, lift to release and slide out of the slot in the head top. The cams can be replaced by just sliding into position. The visor seal can be removed simply by pulling free from the groove along the top of the visor. This groove can be used to attach various accessories. 
To replace the visor seal, align at one end of the visor and push the gasket into the groove along the whole length to haul it in place. To remove the head suspension from the M100 series, pull the height adjustment slots free from the pegs at all four points. This can also be done to remove the headband from the M300 or M400 series. The headband can be replaced by pushing the height adjustment slots in the headband back over the pegs at all four attachment points. The head suspension for the M300 and M400 series can be removed as a complete assembly by pushing upwards on all four plastic hangers for the cradle. The ratchet assembly can be removed from the headband for easy and independent replacement as shown. The forehead pad can be removed and replaced by releasing the three press studs that hold it in place. The press studs are located in the centre of the forehead and one on each end. The M976 head and shoulder cover can be attached to the M series head tops via the groove on the top of the visor. Push the gasket on the front edge of the head cover into the visor groove. Place the breathing tube inlet through the hole provided in the back of the head cover to hold it in place and adjust the edges. The M976 head and shoulder cover can provide protection to the product from contaminants such as paints or dust. To don the head top with the head and shoulder cover fitted, gather up the cover and place on your head. Pull down and adjust the cover around the face and then lower the visor and adjust the face seal as necessary. The M972 flame resistant helmet cover attaches in the same way. It is designed for use in environments where there is a potential exposure to heat and flames.